Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. This is the first lecture of embryology in which we will discuss the descriptive terms in embryology. So we are talking about the terms of the embryology. Here you can see four terms. Superior, inferior, anterior, posterior. When we are talking about the superior, it is the part which is towards the head. When we say that this organ is inferior or this structure is inferior, that it is towards the foot. For example, nose is superior to the neck. Nose is superior to the neck. But this is the relative term. Nose is not always superior. Head is superior to the nose. So, by this you can see once a nose was superior to the neck and in the other example forehead is superior to the nose so these are the relative terms that how we are comparing with each other then one it is superior then in the second example it is inferior so superior inferior all these terms are relative terms Inferior, for example, with ankle is inferior to the knee. Coming to the anterior, it is facing forward. That is, it is anterior wall of the chest. And when it is facing backward, this will be the posterior wall of the chest. Palm of the hand is anteriorly facing and dorsum of the hand is posteriorly. So this is about the superior, inferior, anterior and posterior. Coming to the other terms, cranial and caudal is used in embryology that is cranially directed that is it is towards the cranium and caudally directed, it is towards the tail or foot. Ventrally, it is synonymous to the anterior that it is facing forward. And dorsal is the synonymous to the posterior that it is facing backward. Then coming to the planes or sections of the body. Median plane and sagittal plane is explained here. You can see we should know that either it is vertical or horizontal plane. So median plane is the vertical plane and it is going to divide the body into equal right and left arm. In contrast to the median plane, frontal plane is also the vertical plane, but it divides the body into anterior and posterior half. So, we should know that plane is divided into which halves? Right and left halves are anterior and posterior halves. So, median plane is the vertical plane which divides the body into equal right and left half. Coming to the sagittal plane, it is parallel to the median plane. It is also the vertical plane which divides the body into unequal right and left half. Then there is the transverse section or the transverse plane which is the horizontal plane. It is the horizontal plane which divides the body into upper 
and lower half. So, in the transverse plane, we are going to divide the body into upper and lower half. Then coming to the frontal plane, it is the vertical plane which is going to divide the body into anterior and posterior half. Developmental period. It is customary to divide human development into prenatal. Pre means before, prenatal and postnatal. So we are going to divide the development into Development before birth and development after birth. Development before birth is called prenatal development and development after birth is called the postnatal development. Prenatal development is again divided into periods that is called pre-embryonic period, embryonic period and fetal period. Pre-embryonic period, embryonic period and fetal period. Pre-embryonic period is the formation is from fertilization to second week of the development. Pre-embryonic period is from extent of it is from fertilization to second week of development. Morphological events which are occurring in the during pre-embryonic period are formation of zygote. Initiation of cleavage, implantation, formation of bilaminar germline. Then coming to the embryonic period, the period is from third week to eighth week. Morphological events which are occurring during the embryonic period, these are the formation of placenta, umbilical cord, and extraembryonic membrane. There will be also differentiation of germ layers into specific body organs. Then coming to the third and last is the fetal period, which is from ninth week to the till birth. In it, growth and specialization of body structures occur. So next terminology is the gestational age. In it, it is difficult to determine exactly when fertilization or conception occurs because the process cannot be observed in vivo within the living body. In, in vivo means within the living body. Physicians calculate the age of embryo or fetus from the presumed first day of the last normal menstrual period. This is the gestational age which is approximately 2 weeks longer than the fertilization age. This is 2 weeks longer because the ovarian cycle is in between the uh, 28 day cycle of the menstrual cycle. So gestational age we calculate from the presumed first day of the last normal menstrual period. So it is two weeks approximately longer than the fertilization age. Then coming to the trimester of the pregnancy. We divide the developmental period into the three trimester. Trimester. Tri means three. So as it is the ninth month period of gestation, we divide it into three. So first three months of the pregnancy are called first trimester. Then fourth, fifth and sixth will be called second trimester. And last three, seven, eight and nine months of the gestation or car third trimester so trimester first trimester one to three months of the gestation second trimester third fourth and sorry fourth fifth and sixth month 
of the gestation and the second, third trimester is the seventh year and ninth months of the gestation is called the third trimester so coming to the gametogenesis gametogenesis genesis means production gameto means gamete production this is the male and female gametes which are produced under the process that is called gametogenesis so gametogenesis is defined formation of male and female gametes from primitive germ cells during development gametogenesis formation of male and male gametes from primitive germ cells then as we are going to form the male and female gametes so then gametogenesis is divided into two oogenesis and the spermatogenesis oogenesis process of formation of ova from the ogonia is called the oogenesis and spermatogenesis process of formation of spermatozoa from the spermatogonia is called the spermatogenesis collectively it is called gametogenesis and for the formation of the ova it is called oogenesis for the formation of the spermatozoa it is called spermatogenesis then the terminology of the oocyte the female germ cell or sex cells are produced in the ovaries when mature the oocytes are called mature oocyte the female germ cells are produced in the ovaries that are called oocyte sperm male germ cells or sex cells that is called the sperm these are produced in the testes so the male germ cells are called the spermatozoa female germ cells are called the oocyte and oocyte are produced in within the ovaries of the female adult female and sperm are produced in the testes of the adult male then coming to the zygote this cell zygote results from the union of an oocyte and sperm during fertilization a zygote or embryo is the beginning of the new human being so zygote is the union of the oocyte and the sperm in the uterine tube of the adult female that is called zygote coming to the primordium the beginning or first discernible indication of an organ or structure is called primordium primordium is from the latin word that is primus or the first indication of that organ so beginning or first discernible indication of an organ or structure is known as the primordium the terms and lage and rudiment have similar meaning the primordium of the upper limb appears as a part on the 60th so this is primordium the first discernible indication of the upper limb primordium means first discernible indication of an organ so the primordium of the upper limb appears as a part on day 60 after the embryonic period that is the from 3 to 8 week the conceptus is called embryo and after the 8 week and until birth the developing human is called a fetus and period that period in which fetus is going to develop that period is called fetal period and it is from 9 week to the till birth so the developing human during 9 week to birth is known as the fetus and developing human before 9 week 
that is from third to eighth week, it is known as the embryo. Now coming to the terminology, neonate. Neonate refers to the first month of extrauterine life. That is, the fetus is now born and it is in the in this world. And during the first month of the extrauterine life, it is called neonate. A baby is called neonate. And infancy refers to the earliest period of the extrauterine life. That is roughly the first year after the birth. First year of, of the first year of the baby is called infancy. infancy. And first month of the extra uterine life of the baby is called neonate. Neonate is the first month of the extra uterine life, and first year is called the infancy. Childhood is the period from approximately 13 months until puberty. So, childhood is the period from approximately 13 months until puberty, the primary teeth continue to appear and are later placed by the secondary teeth. During early childhood, there is active ossification, but as the child becomes older, the rate of heart growth slows down. Just before puberty, however, growth accelerates. That is called prepubertal growth spurt. So, childhood is the period from approximately 13 months until puberty. Puberty occurs usually between the ages of 12 and 15 years in girls. So, puberty in girls is between 12 and 15 years. And puberty in boys is between 13 and 16 years. During this period, secondary sexual characteristics develop. So, puberty in girls is 12 and 15 years. And in boys is between 13 and 16 years. Adolescence is the period from approximately 11 to 19 years of age, which is characterized by rapid physical and sexual maturation. So, adolescence is the period from approximately 11 to 19 years of age. It extends from the earliest signs of sexual maturity to puberty until the attainment of adult physical, mental and emotional maturity. So, adolescence is the period from approximately 11 to 19 years of age. 11 to 19 years of age. Now, coming to the adulthood are the grown-up attainment of Full growth and maturity is generally reached between the ages of 18 and 21 years of age. Ossification and growth are, uh, growth are virtually completed during early adulthood. Thereafter, developmental changes occur very slowly. So, adulthood is the attainment of full growth and maturity and is generally re reached between the ages of 18 and 21 years. Adulthood is between the ages of 18 and 21 years. Or in this, attainment of full growth and maturity occurs. So, this is the, about the terminology of the embryology. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.